Hi guys, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw a book, so let's get started. So whatever uh, size you want your book to be, that's how big you're going to draw your rectangle. So I'm just going to go right across about that much. I'm going to bring it down. Oop. Try my best to draw a straight line. And I'm going to go right across. So there, let's see. About right here. Draw a straight line across. And so I basically have a rectangle in here and I'm going to open, leave this part open because I'm going to draw a spine for it. So about right here, I'm going to draw a curve. I'm just going to dip it down a little bit and draw a curve. So same thing on this side. So we just want to make sure we're about the same level. Then right here, once again, let's draw a little curve. And from there, we're going to connect these two curves for the spine. So go right there. Bring down a straight line. And connect it. Okay, so then from there, in this area, we're going to very, very lightly... Well, you know what? I'll do that later with a thinner Sharpie. Let's draw the rest of the book first. So I'm going to come up right here. Just come up a tiny little bit. And from there, I'm just going to, let's see here, draw another straight line. Right on top. And in this area right here, I'm going to curve it. So I'm going to curve it very close to this curve I have. And I'm going to bring it up about this much, however how thick you want your book to be. And then right here, I'm just going to continue my curve following the top. There. Okay, don't worry, it's all going to come together. <laughs> it looks really weird, right? Okay, so because I'm using a Sharpie, um, I know there's a bookmark that I placed right here. So I'm going to go ahead and stop right here and draw that first. So it's basically just like a rectangle. If you're using a pencil, just go ahead and finish this line. So let me come in here and finish it off. And I'm going to very lightly draw a thin line underneath my bookmark. And I'm going to continue this line. Okay, so I'm going to continue this line all the way. So I'm just kind of following this and I'm going to end about the same level. It's about right there. And so once again, draw another line to give it an edge. About right there and connect it. From there, in the center right here, we're just going to add a curve. There, it's all coming together, right? <laughs> this line a little bit straighter. Okay, so then from there, let's come in this area. And we're going to imagine there's a line about right here. So in this area, I'm going to start and draw a circle. So I'm going to bring my book to life right here. Make it a draw so cute book. So I'm going to come right across. And draw another circle. And let's make them draw so cute eyes. So we're going to put two small circles at an angle and a curved line at the bottom. And shade in the top. So if you love to read like I do, let me know in the comments below what is your favorite book. Hopefully you will love to draw this drawing right here. So same thing on this side for this eye. And if you want, you can put a title on here on the book of the book that you love when you're drawing it. I'm going to leave mine blank and just add a little heart. <laughs> okay, so lines at the bottom. And then from there, let's come up right here. I'm just going to draw a curve right on top of the eye. And then in the center, a very cute little sweet smile. There. Okay, so then let's add a heart right here. 
because it is a just so cute book. And um, I'm going to come in here now with a thinner Sharpie to draw all the little details. So this is just an ultra fine point Sharpie, just a little bit thinner. And like I said, I'm going to draw the spine right here. So I'm just going to use a thin line and drag it all the way down. Sometimes you can break it up if you want come all the way down and then let's come in here and we're going to draw some lines so it just makes it look like pages so maybe just drag a thin line sometimes shorter sometimes longer just gives the illusion of pages There, I think that's enough. <laughs> Let's not muddle it too much. And then if you want, you can uh, decorate your uh, bookmark right here. So I'm going to add a circle, add a little bow right on top. So however you want to decorate this bookmark, if you want to. Let's add a little bow right here for our bookmark. So there, that's pretty much it for this cute little book. Hope I made it easy for you guys to follow along. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.